Inequality is the difference in size, degree, circumstances, and lack of equality. Every day, men and women go through a different type of inequality. This inequality is called social equality. Social equality is the existence of unequal opportunities and rewards for different social positions or statuses within a group or society. We asked a few people out on the streets their perspective on inequality in the workplace. Um, I feel like inequality is unfair in the workplace. Inequality in the workplace, it's uh, something that's uh, damn near tangible because uh, in any workplace, it's either pro-men or it's either pro-women. So it, it's always going to be a difficult uh, aspect to deal with. Of course, obviously I'm not for it. Pues yo me siento muy mal porque siempre discriminan a las mujeres y también especialmente si somos negros, más discriminaciones hay. Men get treated better. When hiring decisions or decisions related to promotion or continued employment are based on an employee's gender, then they are being treated unequally and unfairly. Studies have found that 75% and 78% of women are less likely to make it to the next tier in their organization. Across all organizational levels, studies have found that women are 15% less likely than men to get promoted. Fewer women than men are aiming for higher positions in their workforce. Men get moved up to um, management a lot quicker than women. Like they get, they more get up super, yes, more opportunities in the workplace, yes. I was working as a, um, a telemarketer and it was not that many females getting hired in the um, workplace, so mostly everybody that worked there were male, so I, I noticed that, so they, I could say that's one form of inequality. Las mujeres son más discriminadoras que los hombres. Porque primero, como te dije antes, por el color y siempre creen que son mejores que tú, porque creen que tú no has tenido un estudio y ellos como a veces tienen un poquito más, creen que son mejores. Siempre el hombre que lo tienen ahí en la cabeza porque es hombre, pero ya hoy en día está la ciencia muy avanzada y gracias a Dios hay muchas mujeres que tienen mucho poder. Um, it's an issue that has to get dealt with. Another big issue in the workplace is payment. In the U.S., a woman makes 80 cents for every dollar that a man makes. And if you are a woman of color, then the pay gap is even larger. Men get paid, obviously, more than women most of the time. Women in professional specialty occupations were found to earn just 72.7% of what men in the same position earn. Even though women go through the most inequality in the workplace, men do go through issues in the workplace, too. Men are being pressured to be society's image of a real man. This can lead to feelings of inadequacy. Some effects of these feelings can drive men to consume alcohol, causing them to become violent and participate in risky behavior. Men are less likely to admit their pain and seek medical advice or have a strong social network from which to ask for help. Men also go through a lot of racial inequality in the workplace. But I work for a company where, I've, um, where I started off as a dishwasher. Within three months of me being a dishwasher, I, I worked up to front of the house. Within the next three months, I worked up to supervisor, and then I was on my way to um, managing my own store. But when it was time to manage my own store, they gave it to somebody else that was uh, less qualified than me. Um, and one of the biggest things to me for that was because of the color of my skin. I felt that they overlooked me because the guy that was less qualified you know, fit the right description. So what can we do as people to help solve inequality in the workplace? Saying stuff and putting in, um, putting requests to your boss, that's all you can do. Bueno, yo hago lo que yo tengo que hacer y no le pongo muchas atenciones a las críticas y sigo haciendo lo que tengo que hacer porque yo sé que yo tengo y nosotros tenemos que quedar en ese sitio. No porque ellos quieren, tenemos que irnos. I think I would definitely take a moment and speak to my HR, speak with your coworkers, and maybe coordinate superintendents and really see where you can move forward in inequality pay or anything like that. And they could probably reach out to hire people and take care of that for you. There are situations you can't, you can't run from it. So what, what I try to do, I try to be a bigger person, always, you know, keep it cordial, keep it professional. And, you know, that's the best way to deal with it. Because um, if you let somebody, you know, 
either say something or do something to you that let, you let it affect you, then that's when you give them the power. So for me to give them, not give them the power, I don't let it bother me. Acknowledge it first and acknowledge there's inequality in the workplace, then go on from there. That men and women have the rights to every job. A woman can do the same job as a man. And I think they can implement those rules to make it equal beyond measures. You know, let people work. People out here, you know, trying to take care of the kids. It's, people got rent to pay, people got, you know, food, you know, people want to eat. So just let people work. That's what would be my, my solution to it. There could be a solution, but it just, it starts with more people acknowledging the fact that there is an inequality in certain workplaces.